Hey y'all, happy Vlogmas day four. So today is gonna be a quick vlog because yesterday's was almost an hour long, y'all. No, okay? I was rambling too much. I was doing my makeup, but I had so much new makeup to talk about, but y'all saw the video or maybe you didn't, whatever. I'm gonna use a few more new makeup products and I'm gonna show y'all my favorite red lip combos. I'm excited because I'm in the mood for a red lip today. I'm wearing this white top with blue jeans and just the red, you know the deal. It's Florida, y'all. It is 75 degrees outside. It is still hella hot. I'm not busting out the winter clothes yet because it's still hot as hell, but it's cold in the house. Whatever. So as I'm doing my makeup, I'm watching Mob Wives. <laughs> I forgot how crazy this show was. I'm just revisiting it because I'm in the mood. Okay, so let's read today's affirmation before we get started. Mm. Magic. I believe in magic. I see evidence of it all the time. And though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidence. I'll fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. I've definitely had like um, occurrences like that where I feel like the way that some certain things work out or the way they happen, I don't think of it as like a coincidence. I'm like, that is so crazy that's happened. That's amazing. Yeah, don't ruin the fun. Magic, y'all. Cute. Today is Saturday. Y'all are getting this on Saturday. Yeah, so I'm just gonna finish doing my makeup, but I'm gonna talk to y'all and explain to y'all like the, the new products that I'm trying out today. My skin is a little bit dry, so I'm gonna try out this Laura Mercier, this tinted moisturizer today. I'm gonna use the same primer I used the other day, but I'm gonna use a sample packet, the Tatcha Silk, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I don't wanna open up my little sample that I have because um, I really like that. So I'm going for more of like a dewier look today because my skin is thirsty. I'm using the other Morphe sponge from the Sour Patch Kids thing. They gave you three little ones and two big sponges. This cute little blue one. These are really soft. These are like not like the regular Morphe sponges because those things are hard AF rocks. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector with, with SPF 30 sunscreen and I got the shade 6W1 Ganache. So let's give it a try. Yeah, I did not mean for my makeup video to be that long yesterday. And I, my computer gave me hell trying to upload it. I don't even think it got uploaded in 4K. I think it got uploaded in 720. Like it couldn't even, I had to break it down, chat. I had to edit it in like 20 minute increments. <sighs> my laptop is like, she's dying. I'm in a decent mood today. I feel like I, it's one of those days where I feel like I should be doing a lot more or like I have something to do that I'm not remembering. All right, let's just put it on here. The shade looks pretty good. I don't know what kind of coverage it is. I probably should have read about this, but we just gonna figure it out, chill. I can't believe it's still so hot. It's like, it's cold in the mornings and then like around once it hits like, I would say like 11 o'clock, then it starts getting back into like the 70s. But yes, yeah, I think it's 73 right now outside, but it's cold in the house. I think I said that already, did I? Oh, this is nice. This shade is actually really good on me. Good, because it's too late to return it anyway. Yeah, I would say medium. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I want a little bit more coverage. I wanna try to get at least one photo today. My outfit is so simple that it's not like good enough for a full body shot. I'm just wearing jeans and a, like a crop top, so it's not like. But that red lip and the hit though, because it's December, it's time for the red lips. Is this too red, this foundation? I'm not putting makeup on my chest today because I don't want to risk getting it on my shirt because that do be happening. Is this too dewy? <laughs> you know, am I giving too much dew today? It's looking a little too shiny for my liking. Okay, well that's okay. That's another excuse to use another new product. So I'm gonna use a little bit more. I'm just gonna put it on the sponge here. Um, so how y'all doing y'all all right? What are y'all up to today? Have y'all started Christmas shopping? I'm just ordering everything online next week. Like I'm not, there's nothing I need to go physically buy. So I should be good. This is starting to look a little too red the more I look at it. Might even be a little dark too. I don't know. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just a little too warm for me. I'm like right in between the middle of like neutral 
and warm but not quite golden i guess i'm not sure maybe i should start trying um gold undertone foundations because neutral is starting to make me look pale and warm is starting to make me look too red so maybe i'm gonna try some gold undertone stuff i don't know how i feel about the coverage oh, something ain't looking right hourglass vanish airbrush concealer i got the shade dune it's a little too red honestly okay let's try this out the foundation the tinted moisturizer is too warm this concealer shade might be good to like brighten me up a little bit oh this is a thick concealer okay she said full wow wow she's bright okay she's bright bright i see you girl all right we're gonna just kind of <laughs> Now I'm wearing contacts today, I can see. I wish this concealer was a tad warmer, but I don't hate the shade. It's definitely something I can work with, especially probably with my regular foundation. I think it might work really well. I'm gonna use a darker setting powder today because this concealer is a bit bright. Ooh, yikes, whoa. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, girl, a bit bright is an understatement. Actually, it looks good in person to blend it out a little bit better over here this is a full coverage concealer this is nice <laughs> let me hurry up let me hurry up oh my god y'all don't judge me hold on just let me blend it out okay let me just blend everybody relax okay it's gonna come together i promise hourglass um oh i don't know how i feel like it looks a little patchy it looks a little patchy i'm gonna use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. Also, it's a little bit darker, the Shape Tape. It just looks a little patchy right here, right under both of my eyes. And then let me grab a setting powder real quick. I guess I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath setting powder. It's a nice, even, good shade. Okay, let's blend this out a little bit. I need a little bit more coverage. It's a little patchy. I don't know if I like that. I think I might get that concealer in a deep in a darker shade that might be a little too bright for me so i'm gonna use my pat mcgrath setting powder right under my eyes this is in the shade medium three i love this setting powder a little bit of creasing mm, i don't know if i'm loving it y'all i don't know if i'm loving it ba -da -ba -ba -ba. oh no how it's gonna be what's gonna be okay so let's try out this um since i'm looking a little more dewy than I like. We're gonna try out this Charlotte Tilbury press powder. I don't have the packaging anymore, so I don't have the official name. I'll put it on the screen here. But I got it in the shade three. Ooh. Now this is what we needed. Oh, this is cute. The shade is perfect too for me. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, that just even everything like right out and it kind of, yes, yikes. Okay, so Charlotte Tilbury to the rescue. So y'all, I'm gonna have two intros for Vlogmas. I think I'm gonna have Erica's today or tomorrow and then I'll have the other one by Monday, but I'll, I'll put both of the information in the description box down below. Very affordable intros and outros, and they do phenomenal work. And you're helping out other people, you know, you're giving them work, they're helping you out. Like, I don't have the time to do an intro. I, try, I used to like try to do my intros like when I first started, but the time it takes, and mine never came out as good as the professional, so I'd rather just pay them to do it for me. And the, the prices are really affordable. And, you know, you're helping them out and they're helping you out. It's just, you know, it's supporting other, you know, people out here too, you know. And they're just so good at what they do. Like, y'all can't do that. So now I'm going to also try out this Milani Make It Last setting spray. Got this at Ulta. $10. Heard great things about it. So let's give it a try. Mm, it smells pretty good. It reminds me of something. I've smelled that smell before. Where's my sponge? I want to press in my highlighter. Use the sponge just press in my highlighter so it goes into my skin instead of sitting on top. I'm gonna use a little bit more. 
I'm gonna put on some lashes real quick and I'll come back and we'll do the lip combos. All right, so the red lips, I have four lipsticks to talk about here. When I do red lips, I prefer to use a dark brown lip liner. I just feel like it gives it so much of a, a better look. So the first lipstick I have is by MAC and it is the OG Ruby Woo. I don't wear this all that often because it is a little hard to get on and off, but here's what it looks like. So this is gonna be the first one that I'm gonna try out. That's the one I wear the least. Then we have Color Rain Cherry Blossom. This one is almost dry. I actually already have a backup thanks to my sister Deja who bought like five of them at a time. It's that good, y'all. Um, Color Rain is a black owned business. Oh God, look at it. I'm gonna let these dry down too so y'all can see what they look like dried down. Next up we have Brick House by Amor in Beauty. So this is the Brick House Lip Ink. I love the design of this packaging. Ooh, come on Brick House. Can y'all see that, is it focused? So we have Ruby Woo, Cherry Blossom, and Brick House so far. The final one, which I think is the one I'm gonna wear today is by Caked, by um, Half Caked. It smells like vanilla. I got this in a boxy charm and it's called Bordeaux. It's more of an orangey red than a blue red, like the other. So here we go, focus. Okay, Ruby Woo, Cherry Blossom, Brick House, Bordeaux. So I'm gonna let these dry down a little bit. While those are drying down, I'm gonna talk about the lip liners. The fourth one I don't use as much, but um, it's still a really good one. I actually don't know if I'm gonna show it because I don't even know if they still have it. Let me. Let me see, child. Oh, they don't have it anymore. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna show it then. I'll mention it, I guess. It was the ColourPop um, collaboration with Ellery. It's the Ellery lip liner. It's really pretty. It's like a really deep, almost like a plum. So I won't do that. I'll just do, um, I'll just do the three because I wanna show y'all things that you can actually go out and get. So. The first one here is chestnut. I need to sharpen this. Yeah. I think this is what got spilled all over my purse because there's like brown makeup all over my purse and I think it's this lip liner. Why is this so flat? I was like, what is all this stuff all over all my items in my purse? This lip liner got loose, yeah. So the first one is MAC Chestnut. I'm nervous. Why is this camera like not focusing? But here's MAC Chestnut. Just, I feel like everyone should have a lip liner like this in their collection, all skin tones. My next fave is, um, again, by Amor and Beauty. This is Brownie by Amor and Beauty. Love the little bow on here, gorgeous. And this is a black owned business, black female owned business, so is Colored Rain. So this right here is Brownie, that is Chestnut. Watches. And the final one is by LA Girl. Now this is an eyeliner, but y'all, it really doesn't matter. Um, I use this as a lip liner. I think this was like three or $4 and this is just in the shade brown. As you can see, it's a tad bit darker than the other two. This is the LA Girl one right here. So we have LA Girl Brown, Amore and Beauty Brownie, and MAC Chestnut. They're all slightly different. I like to use a brown lip liner when I do my red lip. I just feel like it just pops a lot more, so. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, the lipsticks are almost fully dried down. All right, let's see them on the lips. I'll leave this on my hand so I can show y'all afterwards. Okay, so this is Max Ruby Woo with a more in beauty brownie lip liner. It's really pretty. I actually forgot how beautiful this lipstick is. Oh, Y'all, it's giving. 
it's actually a lot darker than I remember it being too. Okay, so she's getting pulled out for the holiday season. And you see what I mean? Like this is just why I like to use a brown lip liner. I just feel like for girls with some melanin in them, you know, brown skin girls, a red lipstick looks so beautiful. But when you put it with a brown lip liner, it just accentuates your lips so much better than with a red um, lip liner. And as y'all saw, it was a little difficult to get on. It is like a very dry, this thing is matte matte, okay? It, but it's also not moving. It feels really good on the lips. Like it feels dry, but it feels comfortable at the same time. It's very hard to explain. Like it's dry, like trying to get it on and everything. But once it's on, honey. Oh, everything's dried down now, by the way. Look at these beautiful reds. And this is actually Ruby Woo. So this is the one that I'm wearing right now. Here with um, a more and brownie, honey. Hmm. Y'all, I'm definitely in the mood for a red lip today. I knew I was gonna be feeling a red lip today. Okay, I have to be very careful when I take this off. It's about to be a mess, child. Doing lip swatches is so, it's annoying to do, but I prefer to see the lipstick actually on the person than just like hand swatches. I wanna see. I'm gonna have to use a lip scrub. I actually have some dry skin on my lips. Next combo. Okay, so this lip combo is Colored Rain Cherry Blossom with the NYX eyeliner in the shade Brown. So I filled in my lips a little bit more just to make it a little bit deeper of a red. Wait till this dries down, y'all. It's gonna look so good. This is one trick that you can use to get a red even deeper is just fill in your lips a little bit more with that brown lip liner. And yes, this is an eyeliner, but honestly, I don't mind using an eyeliner on my lips because if it's safe for your eyes, it's safe for your lips. And honestly, it's they're a lot creamier in eyeliner. And oh, look at it, y'all. I use a winged eyeliner brush. I got this from ColourPop, I think it was like $3. And I like to use this to do my lips because it does have that slant and it's so sharp and it just helps you like line your lips. I don't have an official lip brush. I mean, I do, I have one and I don't know where it is y'all. So I just use an eyeliner brush. You just use a, you know, a slanted wing eyeliner brush. It does the exact same thing. She's, she's getting there. It's pretty much already dry, but y'all look, look. See, this is what I preach to y'all. This is, this is it. Like, cherry blossom. You don't got no business looking this good. And this is exactly why my sister bought like five of them. She was like, I don't know, every time they go on sale, I buy one. I was like, well, give me one because mine is almost gone. I've been using this one for like almost two years now and it's finally gone. Well, almost gone. There you go, look, look. Who gonna tell me I'm not the ish? Who gonna tell me black girls can't rock red lips? Cause who finna tell me? Who? Every time I put on one of these, I don't wanna take it off. Girl, because like, I keep looking at myself in the little, little flip out thing here because y'all, cherry blossom, cherry blossom. And I did prep my lips with the Morphe lip scrub, so, um, it actually went on a lot smoother than when I did the Ruby Woo. I should have did the lip scrub before the Ruby Woo, but 
I didn't, but y'all saw how it looked. It still looks really good, but you definitely should prep your lips before putting on a super matte lipstick like that one. This is more of a, it's a liquid matte lips, lipstick. It's super comfortable. Like I don't even feel it and it just looks so good. Okay, this is Amore and Beauty Brick House with the Amore and Beauty lip liner and brownie. My battery died while I was putting on the lipstick, y'all. The drama. But the lipsticks have fully dried down. This is how everything looks fully dried down on the hand swatches. And this is Brick House right here. And this is it on the lips with a brown lip liner. That looks so good. It's almost done drying down, but again, this is another really comfortable lipstick to wear. Mm, I just love a deep red like this. Okay, so this is Brick House fully dried down. No transfer. Got me feeling lovely. I mean, what is there to say? <sighs> Let's move on to the final combo. All right, so this is Bordeaux by Half Caked, fully dried down. <sighs> I thought this was the one I wanted to wear today, but y'all, I don't know. So this is more of like an orangey red, like um, what do you call it? Like a, almost like a terracotta. Mm. Oh, I love this one too. They just all have like, they just, they all do something to me. And I use Chestnut Lip Liner by Mac with this one. Uh, maybe I do want to wear this one. Maybe I do. Let me bring y'all in a little close. Y'all, y'all here? I mean, look at it, y'all. What is it giving? Bordeaux was one that really grew on me. When I first tried this, I wasn't feeling it. You really have to let it dry down because as y'all saw while I was putting it on, it looked like really, in my opinion, too bright for what I usually like. But when you let it dry down, it's just... No transfer. I should have did the transfer test on all of them, but they don't transfer. I think the only one that transfers is Ruby Woo. Um, all the other liquid lipsticks do not transfer. You don't have to worry about it coming off on your glass if you're drinking, but if you do eat foods or drinks with oil in them, it will remove it. Cause that's how liquid lipsticks, you know, come off is with oil and stuff like that. I've been sitting here for a very long time. I'm debating now if I'm gonna leave the house or not cause I actually need to edit this video to get it up for y'all today. So, but I still think I'm gonna go outside and take some pictures. Cause like, it's giving, it's giving. I think I'm gonna leave this lipstick on also. My lips feel raw. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm just gonna leave this one on for today, but um, Look out for the other ones and through the holiday season, I will be wearing all four of these combos. So let me know if you have any of these lipsticks or if you recommend any for me to try because y'all know I'm always willing to try stuff, okay? Drop any recommendations you have down in the comments down below for any red lipsticks that you love and you think that I might love it. As you can see, you know what I like. 
I like more darker reds, but this one is it looks a little it looks even a little bit darker in person. Um it's just really good y'all it's, it's a really good one it's a really good one they're all really good so these are when i'm wearing reds these are the reds that i go to mainly these three these three right here the cherry blossom brick house and bordeaux i just i don't reach for ruby Woo as much as i should but now that i brought her out she's to the top she's made it to the top of the lipstick pile so, so she will be getting used this holiday season y'all so if you like this video give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel y'all i'm trying to grow my channel share me with anybody that you think would like my videos and until tomorrow affirmation magic remember that i will see y'all tomorrow bye